Hey guys, K Parks for PCs here. Today I got another video. Now this is the Dell GT 732 gig. And uh, yeah, I got it for the price of free 99. So I figured I might as well make a benchmarking video on it. Now this card has three display outs. It has VGA, HDMI, I think it's just HDMI, like uh, 1.4 says that's what's on the uh, tech power up and then DVI. Just normal DVI, which is, you know, whatever. Now, this card, even though being a GT730, is even worse than you may think. It only has GDDDR3 memory, which is a limiter. The GPU clock itself is still the base 902 megahertz, but the memory clock is, you know, like, cut in half, basically. So... It goes, it is 900 megahertz on this card, and it the memory clock is 1800 megabits a second. Now, it thankfully only draws 38 watts, and it's single slot. And the VGA cable isn't even required to run it, as you can see in the picture up here. You can just attach one. Now, this was built on the GK208B uh, graphics processor, which is... Kepler 2, which, as you know, Kepler isn't supported anymore, NVIDIA dropped support for them, so you know, it's a bit of a uh, lost cause, even if you wanted to still use this and try and play games on it, which, uh, no, you don't. You don't. Just don't. Um, it released in 2014, and it runs at PCIe 2.0 x8, and it it's mem the memory bus is 64 bits, so the bandwidth is 14, 14.40 um, 14 gigabits. Only has 384 shading units and 32 TMUs, so this thing is kind of bad. And that insult to injury, which you guys should have already guessed, it doesn't have full DirectX 12 support, it only supports DirectX 12. Uh, 11 underscore zero so yeah good luck trying to even play a new game on this but you're gonna figure out soon that even indie games that i benchmark on this don't run well on it at all and they run com like complete ass so yeah anyways let's get into the benchmarks so how will it perform in three indie games in 2022 well not very well as you'll see First off, we have Tannenberg, a game based on the Eastern Front of World War I. So you can't really tell from the performance. We start off at 720p using the lowest settings at 85% resolution scaling. This was as low as I can make the game run to make it also, you know, seeable where you could see what's going on, which I could barely do. I ran this game in a bot match to see if I could limit the CPU, but no, the CPU was not bottlenecked. It was bottlenecked by the GPU. Now, as you can tell, the VRAM wasn't even being used in this benchmark because, well, the GT730 core is terrible. The game was only using about 1 gig of VRAM the whole time, and that's kind of the same with most of the benchmarks. And as you can tell, this game is about completely unplayable unless you want to run it at 480 by 600, which I didn't because. I did my benchmarking on a 4K monitor because, well, that's what I have. But yeah, let's hope the next game performs just a little bit better. Next up, we have the brand new game called Fire Maneuver by the Ar Armchair Historian. Now, I decided to benchmark this game to show one that it exists, and two that you should probably check it out because it's free and it's like one gig, so you know, everyone and solid basically but i ran this game at 720p using all low graphics and i only got about 16 fps now you can go lower to 480p but um first off this is in 2002 and second of all i have a 4k monitor so i'd much rather be able to at least try and see what i was doing and the 16 fps well that was pretty garbage I got FPS almost throughout the whole benchmark, which is terrible. 
or any game. Thankfully, this game isn't fast-paced, you know, some first-person shooter strategy game. So I kind of got away with playing with a low, low frame rate. And I decided to try and play a bot match and to try and make it use as much CPU performance as I could, but it still didn't make it performance because the GPU port sucked so slow and it didn't even use 2 gigs of VRAM throughout the whole benchmark run. It used about one or one and a half, which was, you know, showing that GPU can't even use all the VRAM. Finally, we ran the indie shooter game Polygon, which ran the best out of all these games to benchmark today. Now, I ran Polygon at 720p medium and ran it on an online match this time, and I got a respectable 35 to 45 FPS. And the game was, you know, playable. Now, I could barely tell what I was doing, because to see what I was doing, I'd probably have to smear Vaseline on my screen. But, you know, I didn't. This game played well enough where I could actually play and record at the same time and not you know, have to worry about GPU encoding and stuff like that. But, do I recommend play these games at these settings? No. No, don't. No. You can tell I was playing garbage this match, but it's still playable, but you should probably not play at these settings. If you want to get about 60 FPS, I'd recommend going low. Or maybe, just maybe, getting a different GPU. So do I recommend the GT 730 in 2022? No, no I don't. Don't use that as a display adapter unless you get it for like two dollars. And if you want to just get a display adapter, you might as well just get, like, a extremely old GPU, just to add insult to injury. Or an MVS310, which they still make brand new PNY does, for, like, $35. Now, that's a complete ripoff, but if you want a brand new GPU or a display adapter, there you go. Or you can buy a used GPU if you want to try and play some games, like, you can get a GTX 650 one gig. Or like a R7 260 on like Bay or Facebook Marketplace for like 25 bucks, maybe 35. Get like 35, you're kind of getting ripped off. Probably buy like a you know Fire Pro, you know W4100 or something like that. But either way, you get way better performance than the GT730. But thankfully, I didn't buy the GT730 doing a deal one day and I was getting this PC off this guy he said um, I'll throw in a this GPU if you give another two dollars to me I'm like do you know what it is he said no so I paid the extra two dollars and got home and was disappointed after I took apart PC and found that the G GPU was a low profile GT 730 but yeah anyways this is K Parcel PCs signing out